Hey everyone, Edward here and welcome to Windows Report. And in this video I will show you how to dual boot Windows 11 and Windows 7. So let's get to it. Firstly I will show you how to install Windows 7 after Windows 11. What you have to do is create a Windows 7 partition on your PC. Right click the Windows button then select Disk Management. Then in the next window select the partition that has some extra space on it. This is because you'll need a partition that has at least 20 GB of free storage space. But more space won't hurt. So right click the desired partition and choose Shrink Volume. Then in the enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes, enter at least 20,000. Now click the shrink button. You will see that unallocated space will now appear in disk manager. Just right click it and choose new simple volume, then select the simple volume size in megabytes to the maximum value that you can and then click on next. Set the label and drive letter for the new partition and once you're done click on finish. The next thing is to download a Windows 7 ISO. Please note that Microsoft isn't hosting Windows 7 anymore, so you'll have to get it from a reliable third-party source. And once you've downloaded the ISO file, just make sure to get Rufus. I will also post the download link in the description below. Then run Rufus and select your flash drive, and then click on select and pick the Windows 7 ISO file. Lastly, click on start to start the process. And to finish this procedure, you now have to boot the Windows 7 Flash to install Windows 7. Just connect the Windows 7 Flash you've created to your PC, then restart your PC and press the boot menu key. Usually it's F2, delete or F10. But if the key isn't displayed, just go to BIOS and set the flash drive as the first boot device. The PC will then restart once again and will start booting from the flash drive. And depending on the ISO file you have, you might have to go through separate on-screen instructions. In my case it was simply selecting which Windows 7 I wanted to install. So make sure to follow the on-screen instructions and wait for the install to finish. And as you can see, Windows 7 is now on the same PC as with Windows 11. And you now have the possibility to choose to boot either to Windows 7 or to Windows 11. On the other hand, you can also install Windows 11 after Windows 7. Be wary, this is a bit more complicated as you will need to install Windows 10 first. So you have to create a dedicated Windows 11 partition. Do this by pressing the Windows button in the lower left corner and typing run. Then in the run window type disk mgmt.msc then press enter or click OK. Locate the partition you want to shrink, right click it and choose shrink volume. Then set the size of the new partition from 50,000 to 100,000 megabytes or more depending on your needs. That's 50 to 100 gigabytes. Right click the unallocated space and choose new simple volume. Select the maximum size, choose the label and the desired drive letter. Once the process is complete, click on finish. Now you need to create a bootable Windows 10 drive. Just connect an 8 to 16 GB flash drive to your PC, then go to the Microsoft download page to download the Windows Media Creation Tool. I will also post the link in the description below. Once the Media Creation Tool is downloaded, just run it. Then select Create Installation Media for another PC and click Next. Check if the settings are correct. You can adjust them if needed by unchecking Use the recommended options for this PC. Then select the USB flash drive and wait for the process to complete. This might take a while depending on your internet download speed. And once the process is done, you'll have Windows 10 installation media ready. Now you have to boot from the Windows 10 installation media and install Windows 11. Connect the Windows 10 bootable flash drive to your PC, then restart your PC and press the boot menu key. Usually as I said it's delete, F10 or F2. Now select the flash drive to boot from it. And alternatively change the boot device in BIOS to your flash drive. Then select the desired language and click on install now. Select the version that you want to install and accept the terms of service. Then select custom, install Windows only. Now pay attention to select the Windows 11 drive that you created. If you select the wrong drive you will risk losing your files and overwrite your Windows 7 installation. Now the installation will start, so wait for it to finish. Then you'll have Windows 10 running on your system. Lastly you have to join the Windows Insider program and install Windows 11. Now on Windows 10 go to the Microsoft dedicated page and create an Insider account. 
I will also post a link in the description for the Windows Insider program to create an account and after you created it on your newly installed Windows 10, just go to settings and then click on the update and security option. Then click on the Windows Insider program option from the left pane and then click on the get started button from the right. Now input the account you just created on the Microsoft website and afterwards choose the dev channel option and click confirm and restart now. Then you have to wait for Windows to load and once it's loaded you have to go back to Windows update in the settings menu and then check for updates. Now it should start downloading Windows 11. Of course you need to reboot your PC for the update to take place and voila now you have both Windows 11 and Windows 7 coexisting on the same PC. That was quite a ride, isn't it? As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below and if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.